Actually, there is one way. There probably is. No, but this might actually get me more bone than the other path I'm taking. There is only one other possible path I could think of which might or might not work. Yep, I think it's just to go left and then go through the lock thing. I don't think that door is going to be open, but hey, maybe. It says I need to get to the family room, though, and that's definitely not the direction of the family room. But I'll give it a shot. My idea is that uh, the other path, but then again, that lawn path wouldn't be enough to run. It's too long for us to escape. Alright, we learned something a little bit new right now. It's an idea, though. Now turn the switch. Time has fallen into place. Walk out we do. Now this way. That's locked. I think I'm gonna get caught out here, but I'm gonna definitely try. This looks like it might have actually worked. Alright, so the secret path was actually the way. That's not what I anticipated. Oh! Why am I taking Dragon Tails right now? Regardless, take the key, stuff it in there, flip the switch. And she can't go through the back way, right? The reason that door works is because there was that door locks on monsters. It only opens up for me right now. They even gave me that hint earlier. So that would make sense in that part. But the second part, if I'm correct about this, is just kind of bullshitty. She comes out. And let's see if I can sneak my way in this back entrance. So back here, I'm okay. I'm fine. It's going to be the next section that's going to be tricky, tricky. See if this actually works or not. Which I have my suspicions it may, but it also may not. It seems, if what I think is the right answer, it's actually the right answer. That's a really bullshitty way of doing it. <laughs> my prediction is that you're supposed to sneak. By sneak, I mean like do it like this. Be a sneaky snake about it. But it seems like I was right. That was the way for me to do it. And it opens the cupboard. I can't see what's inside. Too dark. I need a light. The fire is pretty. Come on! The thing could eat you. I looks at the books and finds what appears to be a diary. This looks very old. No, don't read the book. We need something to light up our way. Right, so we don't seem to be getting attacked, so yeah. I... Hmm. Nothing. Good. Fine. So I'm inside this corner. Nope. The candle? The candle burns bright. Somehow I don't feel like that's what we need, though. And inside here I can burn. You. Hmm? What's this for? Alright, alright, I get it. What do you guys think I'm supposed to use to burn? Did I, yeah, you killed it. A plant? Books feel fake, nothing there. Can't go through the front entrance. You seem to be safe from the monster in here for whatever reason, but... I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. Let's scan the dark walls, see if I can find anything. I have carried the sharp knife, the, the knife this whole game. Light source. This is going to take a second to think about. Hmm. 
I got nothing. I can't think of anywhere where there's some random light source thing. You would think it'd be around this table or something inside this room or something which I was supposed to find earlier, but I've looked at everything and I haven't spotted anything. The monster appears. Am I supposed to bring no bring the monster to make any sense? And I'm pretty sure that what I pressed was supposed to be used on this. At least I, the problem is, is this the family room? I thought this was the family room. It seems kind of like it because the cupboard is now open. And then I don't have a light to go through it. Maybe it's not through here. Give me a second, I got a second attempt. Here. So the scary thing that chased me before it killed this. Hmm. Maybe the door at the end of this hallway was finally opened? Probably not. Locked, like I expected. Maybe this top area. Maybe this is the family room they meant. Ew, is this blood? These monsters were drinking blood? That is typically what monsters do in these sort of things, right? Back here. I thought it was the stairs the poison thing was. Hmm. The poison thing? The knife's been with me since the very beginning of the game, so probably not yet. It's probably for like the last thing I need to do sort of scenario. I mean, maybe the family room is the middle room I just came from. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do this. Give me the battle axe. I'll fight the monster. Anyways. I guess it'd be the big room, but that monster is going to come. But what in there? Candle burns bright. Here, I guess, so we don't just keep on dying. Yep, she comes back, though. And I'm like, no. Hmm. From here, let's go back out. I'm going to go for the middle room. I think the monster's going to get me before then. Oh, but there is, that is where the exit is, though. So, there is indeed, that is where we're supposed to be going. But, there's like no way for us to get there before the monster finishes eating us off from here. Okay, I'm just going to have to do this by luck, because the monster's AI is kind of stupid. It's got typical RPG Maker monster AI. Fuck. <laughs> I gone down. So I have to just rely on having the perfect run by the monster's AI being stupid. <laughs> that is literally what I need to work off of right now. Great programming. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to have to work off of luck right now. Maybe if I entered from the other way, it'd be a bit easier. I don't think it will be, but hey, you know what, whatever, I can try. I don't think it's going to be any easier, though. It seems like it's about the same distance. Hi, right, we made it. AI went a little bit stupid there for a bit. I think the door has stopped her. How did she come back to life? Why did she want to eat me? You didn't read any of the notes we've been picking up, Missy. This must be the dungeon Mr. Valentine and Uncle Jack were talking about. How about you? What do you do? Pages have dates written all over them. Most of them are ticked off. One date stands out to Anima. 10th of October, 2008? That's when Father went missing. Why is it written down here? Think about it. It's not very hard to figure out. Anyways. The prison cells. Keep in mind that we've been warned that the things down here are kept down here with a reason.
So much blood and bodies everywhere. Why? There are people in here? Hello? Please, no more! I won't hurt you. That's what he said last time. Alright, lady. Anyways, continuing our investigation. Another diary? It looks short, so I'll read all of it. I figured out what has been causing these weird objects to appear in my house. It's the portal. Okay, well, obviously it is, but I know exactly why. I never knew what the portal was for. I assumed it was one of the many openings for these creatures to gather souls, but I was wrong. The portal actually the portal is actually there to try and shift their demonic dimension into ours. It explains everything. The random statues, pains, and creatures. They are attempting to create a portal to engulf this planet now as their own. Am I going to be the reason why our world will be split into two? So splitting worlds into two demonic realms, nothing new. Alright. No, 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 you got It's because they use similar tile sets and they use the same game engine, RPG Maker. This is not made by the same person who made Ioni. No, 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 no. If that was true, this would be a Korean game. This is not a Korean game. Ioni is a Korean game. This is an American game that was made for All of Z 2013. They just use a similar tile set. Now then, going on. The reason why all humans will die and suffer there must be a way to destroy it. The portal is still young. Perhaps overloading him with souls will... The Ryan stops as if someone distracted him. He didn't write anything more into the book. Anima rubs her eyes and pushes the book aside. She notices a small piece of paper under the diary. These foul people should learn to be more educated. Read books. Ugh, their intelligence disgusts me. They keep saying we did nothing wrong. It's not about you. It's about keeping the portal open. Stupid idiots. Oh, yeah. If I don't take these pills soon, I'll get worse. You have to take them once the blood goes away. Or you will get worse. I liked it, though. Feeling skin being freshly cut and peeled. Mm, I think I might go and have some fun with some of the people here. Reminder, the key to the garage is in the room with the exit sealed off with bars. Don't want any of them fools escaping, do we? So the exit to the garage is in the room with the exit sealed off with bars. Alright. The key is in the room with the barred exit. Could that be the room just down the hall? Wait, I think I hear something. Ah, oh no, I think it's coming this way. It knows I'm down here with it. So I have to be a sneaky snake around here. <laughs> Gonna be one of those scenarios. Don't want to get too close. Ha cha 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 cha. All right, let me explore a little bit before I give up on that. Where exactly am I headed? Oh! Ha 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 ha. Maybe if I go a little bit further this way and observe it instead of walking right next to it. Nope, that won't work. Okay, well that was like a deer double moment. By that I mean that deers typically will do the same thing over and over again because they don't have the concept of it not working. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Game me through barrels. How am I supposed to sneak by that though? The hard part is I have no idea. It's pattern. It seems to be incredibly random. Oh, it's starting at the beginning of its pattern. In which case, I'll be safe here for a second. <laughs> Fuck me! I 
I mean, I know RPG Maker, Monster Habits. Fuck. I'm domed. Every second counts here. She's gonna probably still catch me, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Fuck me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, shut the fuck up. That didn't work. Oh well, might as well go get caught. I'll stay close to this. Down here. Where the fuck did she go? In a serious sense, Hal looks under the bed and sees a piece of paper. He has bipolar. He has to. One day he gave us all a book to read and lit up the room. The next day he came down and broke my leg. I am in so much pain right now. I need to... There's a big gap between the paragraphs. He just came back down and gave me another look to read. Not a fucking bandage, a book. It's called The Missing Piece. Missing... Uh, piece Missing? Why would you give these people books? I, would, I was guessing that's what was happening to her, but then she's not even here right now. Almost like I could get killed easily by doing this. She glitched. <laughs> the problem here... I'm not gonna try and save. I wanna save, but I think I'm gonna get boned if I do. But then what about the monster down here? Is he here? No, he disappeared. I think. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. What's this stuff? I don't know. You fucking tell me. Alright. Look at the pages with scribbles around. Words run all over them. Alma finds the key. Now to open the garage. I hope the lever that opens the upstairs door is in the garage. Huh? I'm trapped. I need to get out of here. At least they had the courtesy to let me save first. If her AI is anywhere near as dumb as it was before, then we're in good condition. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> oh. Me. Right side just saved, so whatever, you know. Alright, well I have an idea what we're supposed to be doing here. Now this time, I'm, this I don't think I'm supposed to be over here, but I'm just going to try over here. To see how my luck holds out. She's playing as a bat. Her eye is the stupid kite that only works if it goes to a certain area. Her pattern in this one does not change, which makes her really easy to actually bypass here. You just need to think about it. Which means down Ta-da! Now then, now here we go. Sneak a do, sneak a day. It won't let me save, but okay. Where does this key go, actually? 
I don't remember. Candle burns bright. Save over that, please. I'd rather not do that all over again. So, wait, there's actually a few places this key could go. The first option is finally this hallway at the end of the fucking thing. Nope, that's locked. Which means the next option is the staircase, which I actually think is where I'm supposed to be going. Let's find out. Item, garage key. No? Actually, I didn't try using the key. This was one of those games where keys aren't used automatically. I need to remind myself this. Garage key. And there we go, unlocks the door. Go inside. Meanwhile, in the garage, we're probably going to get centered by a monster. I mean, it'll be the Blood Ooze monster, because we haven't dealt with him in a while. Also, all this blood around would definitely imply that. It's not actually the blood loose monster yet. Now I can go upstairs. But first, blood ooze monster. Ah! Okay. That's not what I anticipated. It's just the same monster. Closer this way and get out the door. Anma quickly locks the door and leaves the key in the lock. I don't think I'll need that key again. Please stay in there, Auntie. Suddenly the giant blood monster bursts through the door. <laughs> I'm gonna save my game first here. And let's save there. Now then, upwards finally. Anna pushes the door slightly. It opens up. Alright, let's see. We have to close the portal, destroy it. The guy said he'd take care of that. But we're in a new area with new doors. I don't know, find the notepad. Read it. It's dated as 10th of October 2008. It says, Oh, Anima, I'm so very sorry for what I have done. I have to do it, otherwise things could have gone out of control. You have to believe me. Anima, I remember playing with you out in the fields of my land with your dog Jasper. I remember being the one that watched all of your kids' movies with you. I remember being in the hospital with your mom when you were born. I came in and saw your father and mother holding you smiling. I've always wanted children. You were the closest thing I had to that. I always looked after you when your parents couldn't. I was there for you. But I'm sorry. I had to kill him. I had to. He found out I had to kill him. I'm so sorry. My father, she killed my father probably. The pages are stained with tears. They seem like they were crumbled up but reopened again. A tear starts to form in Amina's eyes. I love you Uncle Jack, I always will. You were always there for me. Why did you say I had to kill him? Who did Uncle Jack have to kill your father? Come on, it's obvious. Especially if you put the dates together with when your dad died. Locked. And this set of pages are scattered around the shelves. Read them? Sure. I keep on changing diaries. I just grow tired of them too easily, I guess. On more of an important note, something new has begun has been added to the house. It's almost like a gate leading to a portal room. I was fine without it. In fact, it made it harder for me to feel the portal. The door leading to the spiral staircase has four statues in front of it. Each statue needs to be fed some sort of colored stone. The statues form facial expressions showing that stone they want to consume. It's frustrating trying to figure it out at times, but I guess it is a good form of security. Eating the stones is what bothers me the most. I am forced to let one of the invisible demons hold on down the prisoners while I use the weird contraptions in, my, in the room. It feels like it takes a part of my soul away each time to create these stones. I recover within an hour or two, but if a younger person was to use it, I don't know if their soul could handle it. Perhaps if they keep a hold of the stones, it would increase the regeneration process. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I need to get back to bed. Locked. Alright, so we need four stones to open up the path. Locked. But currently all the doors are locked. So that's going to be fun. They're all going to unlock in due time. Alright, so I know that you're locked. You're a bookshelf. 
The demons that Amy gave invisibility to have now learned how to take control over objects. Luckily, not people. Well, living people. One of the captives managed to steal some rope from a create. From a create. Well, that means crate, but whatever. Once he broke the lock on the iron door, he couldn't get out, so he made a noose. The demons managed to get downstairs and possess the hun body. If they manage to possess a living body, then Amy will have no need for me to be alive. I have been trying to keep the death toll downstairs low so that these demons can't practice on dead bodies. It's still hard to see people's bodies turn from a beautiful living creature to a lifeless mass. Some might find that hard to believe. The downside of this news is that that means the monster that's possessing my aunt could just take over something else now. Leave the body, go in some different direction. Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Statue, painting, statue, there's a door here, but it's also a statue. This was in the middle of the room, suspicious. Anima hears some whispering, someone whispering. I wish I could do this for you, Anima, but you must put your hand inside its mouth and gather the soul gems to feed these statues. Once you put your hand in the mouth of the statue, it will transfer some of your soul to four different gems. Anima, I don't know how powerful the statue is. Please be careful. Once the transfer is complete, you must rest. You will lack parts of, parts of your soul that makes you a, as a human. Will it hurt? I don't know, my dear. Anima takes a deep breath and places her hand to the statue's mouth. The statue clamps down on Anima's hand. Oh my. Take them quickly. Hide. I mean, we all knew that our soul gems were going to get stolen. Wait! You have to get those gems back, Anima. I figured as such. We need the soul gems. They're part of my soul. I'm actually slightly transparent. That's kind of cool. A door nearby unlocks. Oh, we already knew the doors in the mic because there's four different doors, so obviously I'm going to have to go and throw my gems. Your gem is inside me. How would I open without you telling me the meaning of these words correctly, Anima and Midas? Anima finds a piece of paper. It says, Anima is useless. Alright, I have to write all this down, don't I? Apparently I am useless. I'm not useless. I'm used to Anima. Anima finds a piece of paper. It says, Anima equals lie. Alright. So Anima equals useless lie. Anima finds paper that says Anima is Amy. Am I Amy? Is that the plot twist coming up? So useless lie Amy. Midas is small. Midas small. Well Midas is pretty small. Midas is wrong. Alright. Midas is strong. Now, let's see. Midas is love. Fuck, this is going to be difficult. There's a lot of different words here. Midas is carrier. Carrier of what? Alright, Midas is energy. Energy, that's unique. All right, what are some things about me? Anima is weak. Anima is soul. This is getting a little bit ridiculous, writing this all down. Anima is defensive. Defensive. 
and there's at least one more row of books coming up. Yeah, I know it's gonna be like nine here. Anima is death. Let me get rid of some of these spaces here. So, the carrier of energy. Let's see the stuff in a second. I'm just arranging some of the stuff here. Defensive. All right, so death. I know that's Anima, and I know this is Midas. If I know that, then yeah. I... So death. Anima is terror. Anima is blood. And there's even another fucking row of books here. Dang, my life difficult. Anima is a monster. Alright, Anima is a monster. I am my own monster. Anima is a killer. Uh, okay. Anima is an animal. Actually, I think I know how this is going to do. I bet he's going to say random words, and I have to say if that is Anima or Midas. I bet that's what's going to happen. Okay, so let me go down here. Now Midas time. Midas is confusion, which means I should probably arrange myself a bit better here if my theory is right. All right, so Midas is confusion. Midas is a creature. Midas is anger. Anger. But I bet that's what's gonna happen. I bet he's gonna like ask Ram, say Ram words. I have to determine if it's Anima or if Midas in these. Okay, Midas is fear. Midas is hate. Midas is filth. We both got some pretty bad choices there. All right, treasure chest, let's try you out. What is the meaning of the word anima? It is six characters long. Six characters long is useless, terror, monster, killer. Hmm. Well, he is indeed small. He is so ever small. This isn't gonna be the answer though. Probably gonna be wrong. Bro, he is small though. You silly old goose. I know I'm supposed to choose the deep symbolic meaning for me. This, like mine's a soul, cause I'm a soul. Yep, I am soul. Metis means. Let's try love. I mean, this is me talking to my soul, right? I have to remember that these are the soul gems. So I love me this, is my guess. Oh, I'm actually wrong. Well, he's my younger brother. I guess he's not small, even though he is small. I guess I don't love him, and I'm pretty sure I might love him. All right, souls there. Midas. I've already tried like half of them though. I mean, it's either gonna be anger, fear, hate, or filth now. Maybe he's fear. I don't really think that'd be it, but you know, whatever. Correct. Give me something in return. The blue gem rolls onto the floor. Me or an anima picks it up, then get uh, picks up the gem and gives the chest the strange book. I don't know, I feel a little better. I still need to find three more. Doing fine, chest. Yeah, it's doing fine, I guess. He's fear. Oh boy, oh boy. What are, oh, is there literal name meanings? 
I guess that might have been something. Their literal name means here. Alright, let's try the next one. This room is a mess. Clean it now, you weak little girl. Clean or I'll see to it that you will be my next meal. So it's a room where I'm supposed to come up with two exact copies of the two rooms. So the teddy bear goes here. And the table goes... Where does the table go? Well, it's not a table, it's like a little plant thing. Oh, okay, I see where it goes. And down here... Over here, the little nice urn things over there. Where's the bottle go, though? Ah, in the corner, that would make sense. And then down here. And then finally move you over here. This was easy enough. And up. Why are we not over there? You're in fact over here. Now the room looks perfect. Yes, so perfect. Take the gem and leave. I have some business to attend to. Where's the gem? Did I already have it? Yeah, I already 